Hi, in this video we take a look at this, the Amazon Basics DSLR and Laptop Camera Bag. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography, the channel that will help you take your photography to the next level. If you haven't done so yet, please do follow me on Instagram. It's a great place to share our photos and there's some great conversation going on too. I'll put a link down in the description and I'll see you there. Okay, let's get into this. In a very recent video, I previewed my new camera bag, which was the F-Stop Super bag. And it was a very expensive bag. It seemed to upset quite a lot of people, justifiably so in a lot of cases. For me, it was perfect as I'm getting out into the mountains and things to film the vlogs and things like that. But it is overkill a little bit, there's no doubt about it. And something a bit more modest and a bit more affordable will definitely do the job just as well. So in this video, I have picked up this, which is the Amazon Basics DSLR and laptop camera bag. And it's going to fit the bill, hopefully, for a lot more people. So we'll get into this bag and take a look. The first thing that strikes you when you get this bag out of the box is it's actually pretty decent quality. And that's the Amazon Basics ethos is to have high quality gear just without the fuss. And because they're building it in such bulk, you're going to get a good value. And that's what this bag provides. At just over £30 in the UK and about $40 in the US, it's excellent value for what we get. So let's open it up and I'll show you. So we have the main compartment here, which you just unzip. And then you can see, like many camera bags, it's got lots of different sections and it's going to hold all your normal gear. It's not the biggest bag in the world, but it's still is pretty roomy. So you're going to be able to carry pretty much what you need for your day shoot, hopefully. It does taper off towards the top, so it's thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. So you're going to have to have your body laying flat. There isn't enough room to uh, lay your body on the side, but you probably could fit two bodies in here. It also has this area at the fr another front pocket here. And if you can see in there, you can, you're going to get loads of other stuff in there. You could put a little coat in there. If you if that way inclined, there's places for pens, memory cards, wires, things like that that you could shove into there. Food, of course, if you're trekking away like me for the day. And then you have the laptop area towards the back. So let's try filling this bag and seeing what we can get in. So we're going to start off with the camera, which I've got my Canon. 5D Mark IV, that goes in. Canon 100mm macro L lens, check. Landscaping lens 70 to 40, that goes in, stands upright like that. Canon 85mm 1.8 lens, check. And a flash. Now, Canon 400mm f5.6 wildlife lens, check. This is pretty impressive for this value. Couple of filters, check. And there you can see that that's fitting there pretty comfortably. And I've got to say, I am really impressed with that. It does feel solid as well. I feel like my gear will be safe in there. It's sort of padded at the front and back as well. So let's just close that up. Take one laptop and then just slide that in. And again, that just sits nice. That's a, that's a 15 inch laptop there that's gone into there. And that's now just sat in that bag pretty nicely. Now, I need, a, I need a tripod. So can we attach a tripod to this? Yes, we can. And lift this little pocket up, put one leg in there like that. And then it's just a case of strapping the straps around the tripod, clipping it in like that. And there we go, that's really easy. This is the B3, uh, the Manfrotto B3 tripod. Now, is the bag waterproof? No, it isn't. But Amazon do you a little favor and provide a nice little rain cover. So very simply, just pull that over the bag and it should go over the tripod as well. Let's lay it flat like that to pull it over. Fit it on and there we have it. One waterproof bag that costs less than 40 pounds. I mean. That's brilliant. It re Let's try it on. It's got a waist strap. It's got a chest strap, but that is pretty good. I'm happy with that. This one comes with a gray interior, but it does also come with an orange interior as well. If you want a little bit more style in your life. So is the bag too good to be true? Well, there are a couple of small downsides, although I emphasize that that's a small downside. Like I said, it's not waterproof. So, but still, this is pretty thick. It would take 
quite a lot of rain to breach this bag anyway but as soon as you put that cover on accessibility becomes a problem and in fact accessibility is probably the biggest problem of this bag because you have to undo the top here and open it right up although it's not too bad you, you're gonna have to put the bag down somewhere and like i said it isn't waterproof uh, and then you normally your body's going to be right at the bottom here so it's not 100 percent ideal in terms of accessibility some people may also not want to advertise the fact that it's amazon basics but very simply you get a piece of tape stick it over there and then the job is a good one another small downside is the strapping on the back here it's strong enough and the stitching feels like it will hold as well but the padding just doesn't feel that substantial it's sort of you can feel the foam inside almost and it just feels a little bit cheap and i'm not sure after wearing it for a little while how much support that will provide having said that the big selling point of this bag is that cost i'm absolutely impressed with this bag i really am and i could definitely recommend this if it fits somewhere in your budget range i'll put a link down below for you to check it out and if you've tried this bag before please leave a comment down below and let everybody else know what you think okay i hope you enjoyed that please give the video the thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already where i'm putting videos out every wednesday and every sunday and there'll be another vlog coming next week i'll see you on another video very soon i'm adam this is first man photography out